Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson at Strata Hadoop World in New York City. I'm here with Joseph Sharash. Joseph, how are you doing? Very good, Mike. So you work with Microsoft and yes. you do some interesting things. Can you tell us kind of what you're doing? Sure. So at Microsoft, I run the information management and machine learning platforms. Uh, that means a few things. Uh, so we have the Azure Machine Learning Platform. It's a one-of-a-kind machine learning service in the cloud, fully managed. It's very, very easy to use. And then I have Azure Stream Analytics that allows you to analyze streaming data uh, live on the cloud, again, fully managed. Azure Data Factory, which allows you to orchestrate data between different products. And above all, the, one of the most recent ones the Cortana Analytics Suite that brings together a collection of these products, machine learning, stream analytics, and uh, all of those along with HD Insight, which is Hadoop as a service on the cloud, with Azure Data Lake, with uh, Azure SQL Data Warehouse, sort of bringing together all the pieces you need for big data and machine learning and dashboards all together in one good comprehensive offering for the customer. And you guys are innovating around other things too, like data lakes, and you're, you have some strategies around data lakes right. and things for your, your enterprise partners, is yeah. that? Uh, absolutely, so we're looking to be uh, sort of a single collection of integrated services in the cloud. It makes it really easy for enterprises to stitch together the components required from sort of one source so that everything works well with each other and stitching together that end-to-end -end application across all of these, that becomes really, really easy to do. So, you know, stepping back a second, you know, sort of the cloud is perhaps one of the most transforming things in computing today. It just changes, the, it's a huge labor-saving machine. Yep. Okay? Yep. It, it just changes the agility with which Speed. you can develop products. Exactly. Yeah. Now, that's been you know, well proven in traditional software development. But when it comes to data and analytics, it is still being hard. And we're changing the game there. You know, making it incredibly easy to analyze data at scale, bring data in at scale first of all, then analyze it at scale, do machine learning and predictive modeling at scale, and then deploy into an applications, and then connect it to dashboards and so on. And it just makes it incredibly easy. So you, you demoed today it for the uh, Strata Hadoop yeah. World audience the, the app that you guys built, howold.net. Right. And I think probably everyone who has a Facebook account has probably done this. <laughs> That's right, yeah. 50 million some people have done it or something like 83 that. 83 million as 83 of million when we speak now. right now, yeah. But the important thing about that wasn't that it got my age right or it made right. me younger or anything like yeah, that. It's exactly. how you guys built it right. with the data technologies. Can right. you tease that out a little bit? What yeah. are the yeah. main things and you know, yeah. why, why did Microsoft yeah, decide? Yeah, it's a great question. Yeah. You know, uh, sort of building an app like Howold.net, it sort of cuts across an entire collection of things you had to do as a developer. It's a very different beast. You have to have the cloud behind you to build viral online applications that can actually elastically scale. For example, I mentioned in my keynote that when we got hit with that 50 million user peak in the seven days, we just needed to auto scale to 1600 cores, and when those users declined in traffic, it just scaled back. With the economics of the cloud, it cost only a few thousand dollars. Now that's actually an amazing thing. But even more interestingly, this thing's auto scale, right? The developer didn't have to go configure these things. Setting all of these things up, that how old or net, the website, the monitoring and dashboards to look at what was happening in real time, the analysis of the data, which was big data, we yeah. needed Hadoop as a service, we needed dashboards like Power BI, setting all of that up and building that really complex application end-to-end -to -end, took three weeks of one developer. Okay? In the real world, yeah, this yeah. would have taken a year, you would have it cost have broke. it. Yeah, it would have broken, <laughs> it would have cost a lot more, you would have done enormous amount of IT planning to know how much to actually have and you, know, it, you would never have been uh, ready to react to the unexpected. The cloud changes the game. And that's really the magic of the cloud, right? And that's the magic that we're also bringing to data. You know, data analytics has even on-prem today, even with uh, traditional on-prem Hadoop clusters, it is still pretty hard managing Hadoop clusters and getting utilization out of it and how to use them. When you have these kinds of services fully managed in the cloud, somebody else is managing it for you, there's a consistent version of software, software being developed as a service, it's easy to connect to dashboards and everything, it just changes the game and the speed with which you can develop and the accessibility. Because you don't have to be an IT expert to know how to plumb all these things together. See, these things are the thing that change the game and democratize big data. Yeah, well, so one of the questions I have for you guys then is, and I know this is important to your customers, right. you know, because you guys have basically the big enterprises of the world working with Microsoft. 
security, the security yes. model, and for the for the the, the game for my age, yeah. that's, that's not right. security is not as yeah, important. Not but important. your other stuff, is there a security layer yeah. in your data platform? Yeah, it's a fantastic question because you know if you look at all the breaches that have happened recently in the last two years, it's all been on prem. It's really not where the data resides that decides security. It's how well it's managed. And the competency of your IT staff in staying up to date, having the patches, and having smart people who know how to actually put all of the defenses against those kinds of penetration. Now, companies like Microsoft have incredible years of expertise because we've been on the front lines all along. And so the cloud vendors have some of the best practices for security of data. In fact, would you keep money under a pillow? You would keep the money in a bank. Why? Because a bank knows how to secure your money and how to make those transactions happen secure. It's the same with cloud vendors. You shouldn't, you know, I will take an extreme position here. You shouldn't keep your data under the pillow. You should put it in the cloud. Yeah. And the and cloud. It's more secure. It is more secure. And we know how to manage it at scale. And we know how to provide access control. We have encryption. We have all the defenses that you need to keep your data. Not only that, we educate people on the best practices. And so with the cloud, adopting the cloud come all of those benefits. Not only do we manage things better, but we educate the customer on how to manage their data and their services in the most possible, most secure fashion possible. So Joseph, if, if you fast forward in your role at Microsoft, right. Uh, and talk about next year, we have the same conversation. What would you like to say that Microsoft has done over the next 12 months? You know, if, if you could look back at that time, basically what's on your roadmap coming forward? I would love to be able to say the Cortana Analytics Suite has changed the way big data is done. I would love to say that it is the easiest platform to bring data into from any application to build great analytics, to populate dashboards, to build the next generation of intelligent applications. So, uh, Mike, that's what we are looking for. At the end of the day, we want the software applications we use every day to be smart, to be intelligent, to be using machine learning, yep. to know our preferences, to be great at targeting to us what we want. I and mean, Cortana is, by the way, a great example, right? It's an intelligent personal assistant that sort of knows what you like. It becomes a smarter assistant who helps you in your daily work all the time. And it's not just telling you flight alerts, but if you are in the enterprise here at your desk, it tells you the sort of things that you need to know yeah, yeah. so you are more efficient, right? It's like having a great personal assistant. And so the Cortana Analytics Suite is designed for that with the enterprise. So being able to mine the enterprise's data, being able to put that in front of the information worker in the most efficient way possible, and have applications that are incredibly intelligent because they're built on yeah. this powerful platform. That's where the game changer is. Excellent, we look forward to that journey and, uh, yeah. and seeing how Thank you guys Thank you very do. much. Mark. Thank you. Yeah.